When it comes to wireless buds, it takes a lot to stand out these days, especially when you have premium offerings from the likes of Samsung and Apple. So when Huawei sent me their $139 free buds 4i, I had to wonder, what makes these so special? Well, let's find out. These are Huawei's budget offering when it comes to earbuds. They come in at $139, which is considerably cheaper than their FreeBuds Pro. But that's not to say they're lacking in features. In fact, these have a lot of features that you only really see in more expensive buds, such as active noise cancellation and a sort of pass-through awareness mode. That being said, there are a few things I don't like about these. But first, let's be clear, Huawei did send these to us, but a good product is a good product. So I've been using these for two weeks and I'm going to give my honest thoughts on them. So let's start with what I disliked. And this is where you can really see Huawei cut corners to justify that $139 price. Number one is the responsiveness of the touch on the buds themselves. It takes about two to three seconds of holding down to switch between modes. So if you're really expecting to use these quickly, these might not be the buds for you. You really got to sort of anticipate when you might need to use them. Second is the lack of Qi wireless charging. Now it's kind of standard for buds these days to come with that, but alas, these just don't have it. And lastly, and I'm really nitpicking here, <laughs> I was not a fan of this lid. It was so easy to just not closed that when you're trying to open these one-handed it just made for a frustrating experience time and time again so let's talk about what i generally did like such as sound quality so these have 10 millimeter drivers in them which are pretty big for earbuds this size so that meant things like audiobooks podcasts they all sounded great i thought with music it was somewhat lacking in the bass, such as when I was listening to Dua Lipa's Don't Start Now, the bass just didn't slap like you'd want it to. And with a song like that, you really notice it. But that being said, with the features such as active noise cancellation, it really complemented all the podcasts and audiobooks and let you sort of focus on what was going on. And also with the awareness mode, it made for going into a cafe and ordering really simple. I was able to turn them on and unlike some other earbuds, it actually accentuated the mid-tones, which kind of drowned out most of the room tone and actually meant I could have somewhat of a conversation with the barista. And something I discovered is if you pull out one earbud, it pauses the music, which is something I love. And not only that, if you put it away, you can restart your music or podcast by double tapping on the remaining earpod. So if you only just want one earbud in and want to sort of have your awareness to the world, it's totally doable. That's something that's somewhat lacking in buds in this price range, you know? So let's talk about design and comfort, starting with the case. It's fine. It's a little bit lacking. It's just plain white, but it fits nicely in my pocket. I can kind of just forget that it's there. And also the magnets that hold the earbuds in are really strong. You're not going to have an issue with the buds falling out at any time. And speaking of which, the comfort of the buds is pretty good. They come with three different sizes tips, a small, medium, and large. They come with the medium just as default. And I thought that was perfect. I left the default on for most of the time. I tried out the large just to mix it up and it was, it was decent. And especially when it came to Zoom calls, I wore these for a four hour Zoom call one day and had no complaints at the end of the day. The mic is a very important thing when it comes to Zoom to calls. So let's hear how that sounds. So you're listening to the mics now, and how do they sound? These have a three mic array, which really help cut out any background noise. That's really helpful for any Zoom calls, especially in busy places. And plus partnered with the ANC, it's really assistive towards focusing in that conversation you're having. Now, now let's, let's talk, talk about, about battery, battery life. life. Huawei says that you should get about 10 hours of continuous playback and a little bit less with ANC on. 
or if you have the case, about 22 hours of charge time. And I thought that was pretty accurate. That was pretty much what I felt as well. So before we wrap this up, if you've watched to this point, let's seal the deal. How about you hit that subscribe button? And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Okay, on to my final thoughts. Like I said earlier on in the video, a good product is a good product, no matter what the branding or where it came from. So are the Huawei Freebuds 4i perfect? No. Are they worth the price? For $139 with the feature set they have? Absolutely. But if you are looking for something a little bit more premium, why don't you check out our review on the Galaxy Buds Pro? You'll find it just right here. Just right there. I know you want to watch it. It's pretty good. Are they better? I don't know. Find out. Cut. <laughs> good. Good.